Well, good morning, Andrew. Thanks very much for coming along this morning and uh, talking to us about uh, collaborative working in, in, in construction. You have a long association with us here at the University of West of England. Yes, I uh, started as an undergraduate <coughs> in 1981 and um, Graduated in 85, but uh, did my year out at Pierce, where I'm still working today, in 83. Um, so apart from a couple of years when I tried to work uh, with another contractor, but uh, it didn't work out, I've been my whole career with Pierce, and I've come back to the university on occasions to talk about different aspects of um, both what I've been doing and what the university's been doing um, as my career has developed. Mm, excellent. Well, we appreciate that, re that uh, re relationship between us very much. Um, what exactly do you do at uh, Pierce these days? Well, uh, fairly recently, six months ago, I was um, given the job of Director of Supply Chain Excellence and Customer Experience, which is a very long title. You almost have to have an extension on my business card to get it all <laughs> on. But, uh, the theory behind the appointment, and it is a new appointment to the business, we've never had anyone with, with that title before, is that if we're trying to achieve loyalty from our customers up the value chain uh, by trying to get into as many frameworks as possible, we ought to have loyalty to our supply chain and our subcontractors down the chain so that uh, they can be loyal to us so that we can be loyal to our customers. So it's about uh, training and developing the staff to understand what customers need and what they're looking for, both on the hard technical side, but also on the relationship side. They are people buying uh, a service and people need to be looked after and treated well. And the retail mark industry is waking up to this and you see a lot of this type of work being done um, in that type of environment. Um, we are in a retail type of environment in terms of we are selling a service and a product to someone who's buying it. The difference is that rather than taking 20 minutes in John Lewis to buy your toaster and being advised mm. on the right product, we've got a relationship that might last two to three years and we are dealing with different customer representatives during that period. Getting our people to understand that you know, we're not just there to put one brick on top of another, we're actually providing a whole a more of a holistic service is what I'm doing on that, that side of the work. And then with the supply chain, it's trying to get this loyalty from the supply chain, but to get loyalty, we have to give something to them first. So we have to change the way we work. Sure. We have to look at reducing our list. We, we currently have about 4,000 subcontractors on our database. Well, you can't get a relationship with 4,000 sure. companies. So we're now looking through a process of producing preferred and then approved lists uh, so that we actually got a much more limited number of businesses that we do want to have a better relationship with. And then we can start doing things together. We can start looking at different ways of working and bring some of the ideas that we're, we're, we're being asked to uh, incorporate from our customers. We can actually bring those and explain them to our subcontractors. Because at the end of the day, for every pound that we get from our customer, about 85% pence of that pound goes to a subcontractor. Absolutely, as much as that. 